we're going to be looking at doing this uh, tutorial number five. The big thing here is to get this hatching in. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, to start with, I need to do all the construction lines um, just to get everything in the right place. Um, and before we start anything, first of all, I've um, opened up that mechanical title blocks and borders story that I gave you. Um, and I can now go into my model space, which uh, should be a blank sheet of paper again. Right, before I start, what am I going to do? I'm going to come up here to File, I'm going to Save As, and I'm going to say TUT5. Okay, TUT5, press Enter, and OK. Right, once I've got that, um, I can now start drawing all those construction lines to get this thing in. Uh, go in over here, collect a, a horizontal construction line, put into a vertical construction line, go to your parallel lines, you'll see that it's 110 going across there and 130 going across there, so um, half of that would be 55 and the other ho and half of that would be 65. So I'm going to press tab, highlighting that little block down there, press 55, press enter, Come, come to this line over here, click on that side, click on that side, that gives me that 55 millimeter gap over there. Press tab, that highlights that little block down there. Press 65, press enter, click on that line over there, giving me that construction line and that construction line, 65 millimeters away from that center. Um, once I've done that, uh, you can see that I've got a 70 millimeter story over there, so 35 on either side on this of this construction line, press tab, 35, enter, go to that construction line there, click on that, click on that. I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change these two construction lines um, that I've been using on the center to center lines. Go into your main line over there, click on line, find your center line and just go in over here, click on that, come down here, click on that, go across there, click on that, click on that. Hopefully your snaps are all working so that you have those lines in the correct place. Right, once I've done that, I think my next story that I'm going to look at is drawing all of these circles over here. Um, and you can see that I've got a 60 millimeter diameter circle. Go to circle over here, click on the fact that you want it to be an outline, go to the center over there, okay, and go tab, that's a radius, tab again, and that highlights the uh, diameter. Type in 60 and press enter, that gives you a 60 millimeter diameter circle. Go to, um, actually just control Z, let's just do this uh, in a really smart way. Come in over here, you can see concentric circles, that's gonna be even faster. So click on that, go to that center, okay, you can see that I've got three circles over there. The first one, press tab, tab, and 60, press enter. The second one, press tab, tab, and the second circle that I'm going to do is this one over here that says 50. 50, enter, press tab, tab, and the next one is 35 millimeters. 35, enter, and you can see that I've got all three of those circles drawn very, very quickly. Press escape, okay? And that means that I'm no longer going to be drawing any more circles. Um, right, or not from that point at least. Right, and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, draw in the rectangle around here. I go to that line over there. I come down over here to where it says rectangle. I go to that corner over there, click on that. Drag, 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 drag. Oh, sorry, I need to change that to outlines first. Okay, drag, 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 click, and I've got that rectangle in place. Right, so over here I have got these um, hidden detail lines going across over there and over there. So I'm going to go in over here, select hidden, click on that, click on that. There's my hidden detail line, click on that, click on that. I've got my hidden detail lines in place. Right, the next thing is um, to have a look over here. It says that I've got 84 millimeters going across to those center lines. Um, I think uh, probably the best idea right now is to just get rid of all the, um, all the extra, uh, what you call them, construction lines. So go to edit, go down to clear, and clear all constructions. Right, 
Um, <clears throat> let's draw some construction lines in here to get the center lines in the right place. I'm going to go to the construction line, go to my parallel lines, and I'm going to t go tab, highlighting that little block over there, and it says 42 millimeters going off that side, 42 millimeters going off that side. So I go in 42, and press enter, click on the, um, the vertical construction, uh, um, center line, click on that side, select that line, click on that side, and now I have the centers for that, uh, that center line over there and over there. Right, once I've got that in place, I need another, const uh, another construction line six millimeters away. So I'm going to just go tab six, enter, come in over here, click over there. It's another one moving out, so click on that side, click on this, click on that side, and I now have the two construction lines six millimeters apart in the correct places. Okay, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw um, some other construction lines. It says that I've got a six millimeter radius over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click on this side of the line, click on that side, click on that side, I'm over here and I've got all the detail that I need. I'm going to just um, go in over here, select the line, I'm going to click on center line and I'm going to draw in the center lines going from there down to there, center line from there going down to there, a center line coming down from there to there, a center line coming down from there to there. Right, once I've done that, I'm going to draw in a solid line over here, line going from there to there, line going from there to there, and I'm going to then come in over here and draw a circle with the center. Okay, there's my center over there. It still outlines, click over there, click again, and go in an anti-clockwise direction, click over there, click in there, come down here, click over there, click again, going in anti-clockwise direction, and you have that done perfectly. Can do the same thing over here, just uh, draw a line coming across over there. I could have mirrored this around, but I'm probably going to be faster just doing the little arcs, etc. Click, click again, arc round, click. Uh, sorry, I've made a mistake over here. Um, sorry, click over there. Sorry, escape. Click over here, come over here, click over there, click, going anti-clockwise, click. I've drawn two little lines in over here. Let's just do that. Okay, I've got the, that little piece of line, that little piece of line that I no longer want. Go over here. Um, I'm going to trim that off, go to trim, go to the little circle, click on that, press enter, click on the line that I don't want, click on the line that I don't want, and there we go. I have got everything that I need for that, um, that top view of this object. Okay, once I've got that, I think the next thing to do is to try to um, draw in the, uh, this view over here. I obviously need all the heights over here and I'm going to quickly draw that. Right, there we go. I'm just going to move this thing across a little bit. Right, sorry, let's just zoom in. Okay, I want to zoom in to a particular window of this thing um, and just move it across a little bit. Right, wrong way. There we go, click, click, click. And uh, I want to view, zoom. I'm going to zoom to a particular window, okay? Zoom to a window and I'm going to start up over here Okay, I just lost my drawing. View, zoom, zoom extents. There we go, that's everything that I've drawn so far. Zooming out, right. Okay, um, 
just going to move this thing across the page. There we go. And I'm going to move it down the page. Right, I can now draw in this view next to it and we can get all those dimensions and you can see what I'm doing. Okay, uh, it says that I need a line, just a little construction line over here. Um, should make it about 20 millimeters or so away. I'm just gonna pop it in there. It says that I need 15 millimeters going up there. Click on that. I'm going to press tab, highlight that. 15, enter. Click on that construction line, click over there. It then says that I need to go up another 50. Tab, 50, enter. Click on that. 50 millimeters going up, another five millimeters. Tab, five, enter. Click on that. And I need a five millimeters from the bottom as well. So click on that, give me that five millimeters going up there. Right, once I've got that, I can draw in some construction lines moving straight up over here. That corner over there, that corner over there, that over there, and that over there. Once I've got that in place, I can then start drawing some little lines um, going over here, click there, click there, click there, click there. <coughs> um, take that all the way across over here. Click that coming down over here. Click that going over there, there. Click there, click there, click there. Click that going all the way across there. And uh, click over there coming down to there. Right, that's that base part done. Um, I need some hidden detail lines coming in for, for this story over here and some center lines. You can see these two construction lines that I've got over here, they, they would be uh, center lines. Let's just pop those in quickly. A center line going over there, from there to there, and from there to there. Those are my center lines. Same story over here, click there, click there, click there, click there. Right, once I've got that in place, um, I'm going to clear some of these construction lines out. Edit, clear, all constructions, right? You can see my center lines in the correct place and I've drawn that base part over there. I'm now going to take some construction lines coming up from, from these circles over here. Right, let's uh, take a construction line first up from the center line and I'm going to draw in a center line quickly. Um, drawing a center line coming from there going straight up over here. Just press shift so that it goes straight up. Right, once I've got that, I'm going to measure off this 50 millimeter going up over there. Let's go over here, parallel, tab, 50, enter. Go to that line over there, click there. Right, um, once I've got that in place, let's take these lines from the corners over here going up. So. Let's take a parallel line, uh, a vertical line going from that corner, going straight up, that corner going straight up. All right, I'm going to draw a line, a solid line coming straight down over here, from there to there, from there to there. Um, and I'm going to then do a little bit of a, um, a line going, um, what you call it, a fillet over here. Come across to this over here select your fillet that's that little story over there click on that i'm going to need to put in a radius um i see that i haven't put the radius in over here let's make it a 10 millimeter radius okay so we press tab 10 millimeters enter and i'm going to move my cursor over there click on that line click on that line and you can see there's my radius going over there. I'm just going to draw in another line going from this point over here across to there. So let's just draw that line in. Line coming from there to there. And I'm going to do that radius, that fillet again. It should still have the 10 millimeter. So I'll just draw that. That line. Nope, sorry, control Z. Sorry, let's do that again. That line and that line over there and you can see that I've got those two little uh, radiuses except it gave me a six millimeter radius that's quite funny control Z um, just tab 10 again enter click on that line click on 
that line, and there we go, I've got that 10 millimeter radius. Right, you'll see that I've got a line that needs to come out to uh, the center line over here. So we're just going to put a construction line in, and I'm going to draw in a line coming across from here to there, and that's done. Right, um, once I've done that, I need to draw in uh, this top part over here. It says that it's five millimeters up from there. Click on that parallel line. Let's go tab, five millimeters, enter. Click on that, go up there. Do some vertical construction lines coming across over here. That construction line there, that construction line there. I can then draw in lines going from there to there, from there to there, from there to there. Um, I'm going to select that, select that little piece that I just did there, and I'm going to just mirror that. There's my mirror up at that corner over there. Let's just come in over here. Um, press line. Sorry, let's just escape that. That story over there. Try and mirror it. There we go. Hopefully it's going to mirror. Mirror, that's what I want. Right, select that. Go up here, select that, and there we go. I've mirrored that. Press escape, and you can see that I've got everything that I need. I've got a little line that's going to come from that corner across to there, so let's draw that in. Line coming across from that corner to there. And from there, I'm going to be able to draw the um, this part in over here with this little bulbous uh, story at the bottom. Right, um, I need some construction lines. We're just going to get rid of some of these construction lines over here. Clear all the constructions. Let's draw in the vertical construction lines from this 30, 35 millimeter diameter hole um, that's going down there with a 50 millimeter radius at the bottom. Right. Um, um, let's just see. I see that I forgot to give you a dimension. A dimension for this length over here, coming down to this line over here, um, coming down over there. It's a pain in the neck. Um, let us just going to get that quickly for you. All right, that dimension is. Forty millimeters. Right, that dimension is forty millimeters. Okay, so here we go. I have got a line, a construction line that I'm going to draw. Tab, forty millimeters coming down. So in other words, this measurement coming down from there to there, from the very top of this thing coming down to there is forty millimeters. Right. So let's go. Tab, forty millimeters. Press enter. From that top line coming down to there is 40 millimeters. And you can see that I've got a line that goes from there to there, which is an outline. And then I've got a hidden detail line that goes from there to there. Right, there's my lines coming down. I've got a solid line, uh, sorry, a hidden detail line coming down from the top over there to there. And I've got a solid line, an outline coming down from there to there. Right. Uh, my biggest hassle is that um, how do I get this 50 millimeter radius at the bottom over here? You'll see that they've got 50 millimeters over there. How do I get the center to that 50 millimeter radius? Come up over here, click on that, go to that circle, okay? And you're going to say, well, what size diameter hole do I, what size diameter do I need to have going from that corner over there to the center point on the center line over here? Okay, I, if I click on that and I type in tab 50 and I press enter, I now have a center that is going to give me a 50 millimeter radius going from that point to there. Can you see where the center line would be? So I can now draw in a little center line let me just draw it. Draw in a, from that intersection over there, I've got a line coming across. Let me just draw in a 
center line so that you can see the center line point. There's my center. I'm just going to draw a center line coming across there. If you look at it, there's my circle over there with a 50 millimeter radius, which hooks up with that point over there. I can now come in over here, click on that, go to this center arc and radius story, click on that, come down over here, click on that, click again, going in an anti-clockwise direction until it touches the center line. I now come over here and I say, all right, I want to change that to a hidden detail line, click on my center again, come down over here, click on that, click again, going in an anti-clockwise direction, and I've got that little piece drawn in just perfectly. Okay, um, let's edit, clear, all constructions. Okay, um, the next thing that I need to do are these two little lines coming up here, showing the edges of that hole. So I'm just going to pop in some construction lines coming from the edges of that hole from there and there and I can draw in a line solid lines coming up over here one there going from there to there one there going from there to there and uh, on this one I need those lines to be done in hidden detail so again click on that there and there and I now need hidden detail lines coming over here. Click on that, go to your hidden, and draw a hidden detail line going up from there to there. Hidden detail line going up from there to there. Right, once that's all done, um, I can now start looking at doing some, uh, some hatching, okay? It's uh, the bane of everybody's life when you have to do it by hand. So let's, first of all, clear out all the constructions. And I want this section over here to be hatched and that little section over there to be hatched. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. All right, so I'm just going to do a couple of little things on um, the hatching and also viewing, uh, viewing different parts of this. Um, what I want to do is I want to zoom in just on that piece over there. So I go over here, I say view, I go to zoom, and I'm going to say zoom window. Click on that. Make a little window around the part that you want to see. And click on that. And there we go. I've got just that part in my, uh, on my, my model space over here. Right. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the hatching for this. Um, you come along to where it says draw. You go into click on draw over there. And you have this drop down menu over here. There's a little arrow at the bottom, which we're going to put our finger over, our pointer over, and come up over here to where it says hatches. Come across over here, and you can go pick point hatching. Yeah. Click on that. Right. You can come to properties over here, and go to brush, and you can see that there are whole millions of different types of hatching that they can use. Um, you'll see over here that the first one that they've got selected over here is the one that we'd use for steel and I'm going to click on that say okay and if I come over here to this little portion that I need hatched and I click in there straight away it's in there click in this part and straight away it is um, done in there now the problem is that every now and again we have a problem and it won't hatch the area I'm going to show you an example of that um, I'm just going to go control Z to delete it and control Z over there I'm going to select this little piece of line over here. Okay, so we've got that little piece of line in there. And I'm going to just pull that back very slightly. All right, let's, sorry, let's just do that. Let's pull that back. Sorry, let's just get snaps off so it stops pulling it back. There we go. Okay, let's just zoom that forward a little bit so you can see that there is a minute little gap over there. So small that when I'm looking at my drawing over here, you wouldn't know that there was a little gap in there unless you zoomed in and zoomed in and zoomed in. All right. Now, what happens is that I come along and I say to my computer, I say draw, and I say, all right, so I'm gonna do the hatching over here, select hatches, come to pick point hatching, go into that little area, it hatches perfectly, go into that little area, click on that, and you can see that the hatching is 
done incorrectly. Okay, you wanting just this section over here to be hatched, you don't want that to be hatched in there. So, I can fiddle around trying to find all of the, um, the problems that might be there, but you just want to get the drawing out quickly, and I'm going to show you a quick way of getting around that. So I'm going to say Control Z. I'm going to come in over here to where it says draw, go down, find my hatches. There's hatches, and I come over here and it says path hatching. Right, once I've got path hatching, I'm going to have my snaps on. I click in over here, click over there, come across there, click over there, come up here, click over there, take the snaps off, zoom in, and you can then go around this a little bit just going around that little circular, circular part as close as you can to it. Click on that. Right. Put your snaps back on. Come up to the top. Click on that. Click on that. Click on that. Click on that. Come down over here. Click on that. Snaps off again because there's a circle over here that I want to go around. Click along the circle. that snaps back on pop down there and bam I now have the hatching in even though there is a small little problem with the uh, the drawing over here right there we go so that's pick point hatching and path hatching covered um, once you've done that you can put all the dimensions on um, and once you've done that you can then go to view Go to name view, create a view, select the drawing, say OK, go to your layout space, go to view, go to viewport, viewport, go into that corner over there, come across here, knock that in over there, go to view one, go to and close and there you go, your drawing is in there, click on the arrow, click on the arrow, Click on the drawing, right click, go to properties, go to viewport, go to the scale over here, click on that and select the scale. It's very close to one to one over here, so click on that and you now have a scale drawing on the piece of paper. Right, that's that and once you've finished all of that you can say file and save. And there you go, that is saved as whatever the touch is that I, I think it's touch five or whatever it is. Cool, close that all down.